Whether you're a fan of the original Vice videos on North Korea's beginning attempts at foreigner tours, or you've seen some of the more modern videos and investigations on North Korea, or you're Kim Jong-un himself, most of us at this point are aware of the brutal time capsule from the early 1900s that is the open-air prison of North Korea. If you don't know, go on a YouTube binge about the place but not yet. First, I'm going to explain to you some vital information that will be important for you to understand if you ever find yourself being arrested by the North Korean police for building the country in Minecraft. Previously, we investigated why we can't build in China. Long story short, they've scrambled all of their map data so that nothing makes sense when you zoom in on the cities with Google Maps, and they've outlawed all foreign attempts to accurately map their terrain. And they're one of the largest, scariest authoritarian powers in the known world, and it's probably not a good idea to disturb the nest. But as crazy as that is, what about China's crazier, more poverty-stricken ally? It's a really weird and mysterious situation. North Korea has not put out an official stance as to why they have also banned Google Maps from entering the country. But being a country that essentially worships their own military capability, revealing top secret military infrastructure would probably be a primary concern. What's even more interesting is South Korea, the modernized thriving half of the Korean Peninsula and American ally, for years took from China and North Korea's playbook and also did not allow Google Maps into the country, likely from the fear of a North Korean invasion, ready to employ the same lack of data tactics. In a shocking upset, South Korea even offered to give over its internal mapping data to Google under the condition that Google blur out vital areas important to South Korea's defense, to which Google disagreed. What? So South Korea largely remains the same. Pixelated satellite view. If you look at the country from Google Maps, you'll actually see that they've recorded complete street view of the country. So South Korea has allowed them to operate in some capacity since then, but the entire country still belongs in the camp of the No 3D Club. So what's the situation in North Korea? It's way worse. Articles floating around online claim that large proportions of North Korean terrain remain blurred on Google Maps, but I couldn't find any examples or evidence of this when flying around. But with the country exclusively only having a uniform image across the country of a top-down view from satellites in space, you've basically made it impossible to really build anything in North Korea. If you've seen our episode where we built every human structure and base in Antarctica, you'll remember that aside from the rare picture, most of what we had was top-down satellite view from orbit. While you can do a few unique tricks like go back in time to get little slivered angled views of multiple walls, most of the time you're completely left to guesswork with this lack of sufficient data. But we could still carry on with it in Antarctica because most of the bases in Antarctica are just a couple buildings. What you're talking about here is an entire complex country with only top-down satellite. But since North Korea is an entire country with plenty of foreigners visiting, there should be lots of exceptions to this like various photos and video sources that would allow us to build things, right? No. Pretty much not at all. This situation gets way worse than you can imagine. North Korea offers tours. On the internet and YouTube, you can view all kinds of people who have taken these various tours over the years. These tours are heavily controlled and you are not allowed to leave your tour group or wander the country yourself at penalty of detainment. Just ask Otto Wambler, who stole a North Korean poster off the wall. So they imprisoned him for years until he was released to the United States in a vegetative state and died two days later. With no explanation from North Korea, you can imagine what actually happened. So foreigners are expected to follow the rules unless you want to get into potentially life-altering trouble within the country. So a lot of these people who took tours on YouTube paint North Korea as this really great place, specifically because their design tours were so amazing, showed off so much of the amazing North Korean culture, restaurants, architecture, events, sports, and various ceremonies designed to worship the leaders. So it may be a little cultish, but apparently they're doing great, they say. I suspect that they paint North Korea positively because the makers of these videos want the option of returning to North Korea to remain open to them. Others released by media networks, YouTube actually has a clause below the video showing that the media organization is supported and funded by the North Korean government. If you saw the original Vice infiltration of North Korea that they filmed in the 2000s, 
it's pretty incredible. Whether it was them not seeing a single car on all of the roads they drove on for hours, the completely empty restaurants with a small staff that clearly have been waiting and preparing for you to arrive for weeks or months, or the mountains of inanimate food that they serve you because it's all hard as rocks being made weeks or months ago, it's pretty clear what was going on with these early tours. North Korea is aware that they have a reputation for being one of the most poverty-stricken countries on Earth, and they are dedicated to obscuring and challenging this by showing every foreigner who comes to the country that they have plenty of food, and music, and fun, and dancing, and this big amazing city. And in the years since the Vice Tour, North Korea has been funneling resources into making this toured experience to show that their country is apparently thriving more and more convincing, to the point that some people are starting to believe it. But if you go online and research what's been going on through the cracks, the non-approved videos beyond the walls of what they want you to see, the picture of what really is going on becomes clear. There's photos that North Korea wants banned from the internet, and videos. Lots of it are things like seeing traffic directors pretending to do their job and having no idea how. But more seriously, there's photos like Pyongyang, North Korea's capital, being completely without power. But it gets way worse. This video North Korea wants banned of a man gathering grass because he's so hungry might tip you off on what's coming. The footage of what normal life is like for North Koreans is rare, but completely shocking. You can see these shacks people are living in, according to North Korean defectors, are actually the more fortunate and richer classes amongst the entire country. And it only gets worse, with child slaves building railroads, or people living like this. With this reality in mind, it becomes quite clear what the government is trying to achieve with their widespread deception. North Korea is a starving and miserable country and the government is doing everything they can to hide the fact, with the people recording the footage that we've seen of the poverty probably risking their very lives. So as a result, the tours that they let foreigners on are controlled and restricted so heavily to the point where they're not allowed to film while they're driving to the next place, because you can see the poverty as you drive by the fields and villages. Now it's no wonder North Korea won't let Google cars in here to record Street View. The big secret the country is trying and failing to suppress results in no video or photo evidence of any of the cities, towns, and villages in the country anywhere. And even Pyongyang, the capital that the government spends all of the nation's effort into looking like a nice, vibrant, modern city at the expense of the starvation and miserable conditions of everyone elsewhere in the country, still has buildings built like walls to suppress people's views of where most people in Pyongyang live, the walled-off, hidden slums. If you didn't know, Years ago, we tried to build Pyongyang Square, the heart of the city and most visited by foreigners and the most documented part of North Korea in the entire country. And it was still nearly impossible to build in Minecraft, and it's pretty easy to see why if you look closely. This huge panning, incredible quality shot of the entire city with the square focused as the center of it was a lifesaver in terms of finding details about what we were building. But if the tour guides had examined this picture more closely, it probably wouldn't have made it out of the country. During that North Korea Minecraft event, I did several buildings, including this one. But what's interesting is what's behind it. Everything I could see about this area, which was very difficult, indicated poor quality roofs, rundown shacks, muddied ground with walking paths. My conclusion while trying to build this hidden area started to indicate quite quickly that this was a North Korean slum. On the other side of the most famous buildings in the country. It'd be like if you took Skid Row from Los Angeles and transported it to be a few hundred feet from the White House in Washington, D.C. This stuff runs right up to the walls of the Citadel. North Korea is so ridiculous, the leaders being worshipped as gods, you're actually not allowed to photograph these large statues of the leaders from the back because it's disrespectful. Learning this blew my mind. During our time trying to build the Kim Il-sung Square and outward, one of our triumphs was completing this grand people's study house, built by Zumi69. We spent hours and hours trying to find photos of the back of this cluster mansion, but we could not find a shred 
of its evidence. What we didn't know at the time was that fact, so we largely had to infer the details of the back of the structure. One of the most famous buildings in North Korea, and we can't even detail the back accurately due to a lack of data. And it's because no one's allowed to take photos of the back of the building. This country is locked down. They don't want you to see what's going on. And wait for it, it gets worse. North Korean tours were completely shut down in light of the pandemic, and the United States has banned travel for Americans to North Korea shortly after Otto, the kid from Ohio who stole the posters, death. This means that the 360 images you can see in the few places where the tours lead you in the 2010s are pretty much all we're ever going to get for the time being, making the objective of building North Korea even more impossible. The North Korean situation results in unspeakable atrocities, from the public executions, miserable conditions of the labor camps which they send everyone who criticizes the government, starving populace and child slaves, and worst of all, we can't build it in Minecraft. That, of course, is a joke. I recant my insensitivity and cultural sins. Shoot me. Oh, fuck, that was another bad joke. I'm sorry. A huge thanks to our top tier patrons. Comrade Bake, DPRK, Connor L, Cristiano Frazanetti, Charles Deoxin Games and Vlogs, Fortnite Gamer 223 Smiley Face, and Solly. I would make another North Korean joke, but I really don't want to...